Hi everyone, my name is Aini. I am a research officer in University of Malaysia Terengganu. I'm also happen to be the secretary and uh, co-founder of Malaysian Primatological Society. So, terima kasih kerana bersama saya hari ini. Thank you for having me here. I would like to introduce MPS and the opportunities and challenges that we have faced throughout all these years in Malaysian primate conservation. So some highlights, there are more than 500 species of primates globally, but 26 species of these primates can be found in Malaysia. So why are uh, primates important to us? Uh, first of all, primates are important due to forest regeneration. Malaysia is a tropical country that are blessed with uh, many ecosystems such as rainforests and also pig swamps and, and, and many others. So primates help to sustain this ecosystem. Uh, secondly, primates are important icons uh, in traditional or local knowledge and also in commercial purposes such as uh, you can see primates in books, in, um, in stamps and also uh, as a sports icon and others. Uh, number three, primates are important natural resource. Uh, it is they are important uh, biological pest control in all plant plantation and uh, with primates they help social economic growth uh, especially in uh, ecotourism sectors and also many other reasons. So that is how we got started uh, because we realized all of this importance uh, in 2014, uh, we gathered and we sat together in International Primate or Utan Dialogue and we have reached a consensus that we should uh, start an NGO. So in 2015, MPS or Malaysian Primatological Society is uh, established and registered under Registry of Society in Malaysia. So we uh, as an NGO comprise of three core objectives of our principles. Firstly, we would like to conduct, we would like to design um, scientific research uh, of Malaysian primates. Uh, we would like to strengthen networking and collaboration among other organizations. And also thirdly, we would like to gauge the public uh, regarding uh, Malaysian primate conservation and train um, the public in our outreach programs. So this can be done uh, throughout our, our projects or topic studies, uh, which um, uh, uh, consists of uh, projects that, these, uh, that are designed um, as a scientific driven research to map distribution of primates in Malaysia and impacts of threats to these primates. So all of these projects may be separated by location size, objective, but we all have overlapping teams. So to get the ball rolling, um, these are our projects. Firstly is um, Langer Project Penang, which is led by Yap Jolin, our uh, uh, PhD candidate. Um, this project assess behavior and distribution of dusky langers in Penang. So dusky langer is uh, threatened by urbanization uh, such as illegal threats and also road kills. So Jolene has initiated canopy bridges as mitigation uh, action for road kills in urban primate habitat. Second project, uh, Primate Wash Malaysia. Uh, in this project, we integrate approaches of unmanned uh, aerial vehicle, UAV, or commercially known as drone. So uh, we combine this technology with thermal camera uh, to detect wildlife uh, in nocturnal condition and also we studied about nest con uh, ecology structures of uh, nests of the orangutan and this study uh, is being done by uh, Saliza Akma, our uh, master graduate and also myself. Um, so but right now uh, this project has um, is expanded to uh, analyze primate threats and trade by big data implementation and this uh, study is being done by our president, Zaki Zaino, our future doctor. So next project is Night Spotting Project, which is a study of nocturnal uh, mammals by using uh, thermal cameras. So uh, it is also combined with bioacoustic and ultrasound studies. And this project is being led by Dr. Priscilla Miat, 
and uh, Muhammad Fizri Zubay, a, a master candidate. So uh, currently this uh, project is being done in uh, Langkawi, Kedah. So next project is Makakana Mistruna project, which is started and initiated by Dr. Nadine Rupert, our PI. Uh, and this project is to investigate the role of southern petal macaques in forest regeneration by um, this piece, a seed dispersal uh, process, uh, and uh, how macaques is an important biological pest control in all palm plantation, uh, and this study is being done in Pera. So in continuation to that, uh, Dr. Nadine has also a student, uh, Celine Eng, uh, she is a master student uh, and she studies about how uh, human macaque interaction um, from a public health perspective in Lumut Mangrove Park, also in Pera. We also partnered with Animal Neighbors Project, an initiative to improve human macaque relationships in shared spaces through education, research and advocacy. So this project is being led by Dr. Shamini Paramatsiva, uh, a UK-based uh, veterinarian, but she's from uh, Malaysia and this study is also being done in Malaysia as well. So this pro uh, another project uh, is Sustainable Palm Oil Movement. So this project is to advocate for sustainable palm oil and greener practices in the industry to protect uh, biodiversity. So we conduct uh, surveys, uh, we interview people and we want to know how their, uh, their perception about uh, palm oils and so on and so forth. So we can uh, help to educate them about um, uh, sustainable palm oil practices. So next is about uh, gibbons or small apes. So small apes is quite under highlighted species in Asia, but uh, they are really known by their singing characteristic, right? So uh, having said that, um, we have this project, Gibbons of Peninsula Malaysia Project or UNCA, which focus on the studies on distribution uh, and behavior of small apes in Peninsula Malaysia by using passive and active acoustic monitoring. So this project comprised three graduate students, uh, Iza Adrina, Ethan Pang, and Adila Sohailin. And Dr. Susan Leppen also helped us uh, with starting with this project. And we also partnered with Western Hulot Gibbon Project. Um, uh, this is a study to minimize the threats uh, by actively involve the local community in forest restoration, protection, and collection population data. And um, this is to prepare ourselves for a Western Hulot Gibbon Conservation Action Plan. And this project is being led by Mr. Tariq Kabe, our, fut our future doctor, our PhD candidate. So that's all uh, from our project side. So secondly is our next core principle or core objective is the networking and funding and collaboration. So we cannot do this all alone. Um, MPS is a, an affiliated society and international primatological society, but we also um, work with other organizations as well. For example, with Society of Conservation Biology Malaysia chapters, we've done programs in conjunction with um, uh, ICCB, International Conference of Conservation Biology in Malaysia in 2019. Uh, throughout all these years, we also uh, are provided with financial assistance by foundations such as Rafat Foundation, Orangutan Foundation, Ideal Wild, Eurofins Foundation. Uh, they all, they uh, are all uh, helping us in conducting our research. And of course, Disney Conservation Fund, who help us with Peninsula Malaysia Primate Projects. And uh, Global Environment Network has also um, provided some fund to publish a storybook uh, relating to Malaysian primates. Uh, and also, this project is also being helped by Roots and Shoots Malaysia. And uh, of course, we have many other collaborations as well with Roots and Shoots. We also have many collaborations with the Habitat Foundation. They also help us tremendously throughout all these years. So in, um, I go one by one, yeah. So uh, in our earlier years, we have fundraised uh, for uh, Indonesian Forest Fire in 2015 uh, and contributed uh, some donation. 
Uh, we also have fundraise with um, the public to publish the book, uh, the storybook, which we uh, can distribute to uh, primary school kids. Um, we also uh, fundraise for our um, NGO sustainability. So we uh, sell our merchandise throughout all our events and programs. We sell a uh, button badge, we sell t-shirts, we sell postcards, and we sell um, many things. So um, because of the pandemic, of course, we did not go to all these events uh, right now. So you can also check us out throughout our online shop throughout our, our website. So you can scan our QR codes and see for yourself our t-shirts and our other merchandise. So we also collaborated with University and Research Lab. We work with uh, USM, University of Science Malaysia, uh, University Leipzig, which uh, help Makakan um, Mestrina Project, uh, Center for Conservation Bioacoustic, uh, from Cornell Lab Ornithology, Cornell University, help us with bi our bioacoustic uh, studies. Uh, we also, uh, in near future, will be uh, working with University of Malaysia Terengganu for future Malaysian primates conservation project. We also collaborate with uh, neighboring countries. Um, we also have held a field discussion with Borneo or Utan Survival Foundation boss uh, in 2016 and also work with Raffles Banded Working Group Singapore to publish Primates of Joho brochure. Uh, this is among the highlights of uh, throughout all these years. Uh, we have won a bid in IPS 2018 in Nairobi, Kenya. So we have won uh, the bid to bring IPS in 2022, but of course it is postponed to 2023 due to our pandemic. So uh, with this winning, we have collaborate. We are collaborating with Sarawak Forestry Corporation, and of course in Sarawak government and other NGOs as well, such as MNS, uh, Motec, Mindset, um, CB, and um, other other organizations. So we are really looking forward to organize this in two thousand twenty-three. We also have conducted our mega event in 2019, um, Jane, our Reasons for Hope, which we invite our Jane Goodell. So I'm really happy with this program, um, not only because Jane Goodell um, came to our program, but also it involves a lot of students and volunteers and shows a lot of passion uh, throughout this program. So we have collaborated with Roots and Shoots Malaysia, the Habitat Foundation, and also University of Science of Malaysia. And this happened in 2019. So this is uh, our orange team. We also collaborate with Roots and Shoots um, in Project Monyet. It's a photographic journey to document and photograph all of Malaysia primate species. Um, there was uh, some exhibitions, a uh, series of exhibitions, and this project is being led by Mr. Peter Ong. Mr. Peter Ong has helped us uh, with documenting all these nation primates as well. And we also collaborate with Roots and Shoots in Project RASMA, UFA Roots and Shoots Mentoring Program, which we train a future environmentalists. So right now we are currently doing this UFA uh, Roots and Shoots Mentoring Program. So. Also, currently, we are doing National Conservation Action Plans for Small Apes in Malaysia, which involves uh, many NGOs, many government agencies, um, to uh, publish an action plan for small apes in Malaysia. So, I'm really looking forward for this. Um, this effort is being supported by IUCN and also the Habitat uh, Foundation. So next is um, education and training or our, our outreach uh, co-objective. So we've done a lot of outreach in schools. We showed pictures, we played games with kids. We went to um, lectures in colleges and um, in, in universities uh, to promote our NGOs and our efforts to get them involved. We also conducted primate edu camps. We organized or co-organized competition with schools. Um, 
and we all, um, some of our projects uh, have helped nature education um, in, in their project. Uh, LPP have, is a good model for, for this nature education. And we also train future primatologists and environmentalists throughout our outdoor programs. And this also happened prior to um, COVID-19 course. So we also uh, involve in conferences and workshops um, to promote our, our efforts um and scientific research and of course with all these webinars we don't want to miss out um previously latest we have uh, conducted international gibbons day and this webinar is co-organized with um the habitat foundation and this happened in last october so uh, many have asked us um what made us, you know, um, what what um, uh, what made us thrive? So, uh, we thrive because of view. Be um, it is MPS is such a great model for primatologists, uh, in a small country because we managed to gather many primatology or many uh, primates projects under under one roof uh, with overlapping teams. So we are so proud of that and we are happy and we are looking forward uh, for more for more projects uh, in, in future. So, but there is no way that we can do this without um, courage summer or uh, coordination and collaboration, not only among us, uh, which comprise cross-cutting and research and programs because we help among each other, but we also collaborate with other organizations as well. So uh, we are really looking forward for collaboration uh, in the future. So these are the pictures of who we are. <laughs> so um, these are the members for the Primate Conservation Labs, uh, Primate Conservation Research and Conservation Lab. Um, and also MPS project leaders. So, of course, this happened before COVID. <laughs> so, thank you very much for inviting us. You can check us out by scanning our QR codes. Um, you can see us through our social media platforms. We have Instagram, we have Twitter, we have Facebook. We also have our website. So, you can also reach, reach us through our official email. Uh, that's all for today. Thank you so much for inviting us. Terima kasih. I'll see you. Bye-bye. Thank you.